How's it going everyone? Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be showing you a project I've been working on that in my humble, very biased opinion is the best solar e-bike setup you can get. And that is made possible with these two things right here. This is a very flexible solar panel by the brand Aotarki. And this is a magic box that I made myself. Stay tuned and we'll get right into it. First, let's talk about that Aotarki solar panel. And I apologize if I am mispronouncing that, which there's a good possibility. When I say flexible, I'm talking flexible. This thing packs up and to this tiny little tube, which is included, and barely takes up any space. In addition to the carrying case, it also comes with everything you need to get started with your solar project. Wires, uh, MPPT solar charger, which is actually a really nice one. Um, comparatively, this is kind of the standard one that a lot of solar panels might include the just the weight difference alone you know this has got to be three times the weight at least but it's a really nice charge controller it's just nice seeing them uh, include quality components to go with their very nice solar panel it also comes with a bulkhead connector I'm currently utilizing um, 20 feet SAE cord, a 10 foot zip cord, five foot zip cord with ring terminals. And it comes in two different sizes, 50 watts or the 80 watt, which is what I've got. Let me go ahead and just show you how flexible this thing is. You just unroll it and it contours to your vehicle, a uh, bike trailer, the possibilities are, are endless really. There may be other flexible solar panels, but I don't know if they're as durable as this. This is made very, very robust and it is actually made in the USA. So you can count on it being a quality made product. It does also come in two colors, camouflage or yellow. Let's talk about this little magic box I made. This is just a prototype, but it's been working great. What we have here is a combination solar charge boost controller and a DC step down converter all in one. And what that means is that you can take the, your SAE cord straight from the Aotarki solar panel and plug it in right here. And then you take this output cord right here and plug that into your bike battery. Now this is set up for my bike and my bike battery. You may need a different terminal or an adapter of some sort to make this work. But the meat and potatoes are here to make it work. Once you have your solar panel plugged in and your bike battery plugged in, and you get all your settings set here, which I will go over in a moment, it's ready to go. You turn it on and it will charge your battery. I don't recommend you riding the bike while charging it because that could cause it to overheat, but this is perfect for having a second battery or if you get to your destination and then want to charge your battery. Now, in addition to solar charging your bike battery, you can also charge other devices off of your bike battery utilizing these two ports here. On one side, we have three USB quick charge 3.0 ports. And then on the other side, we have two quick charge 3.0 ports and one power delivery port that's rated at 20 watts. You can choose different power ports for this, but I want to keep mine not too high of power because the highest drawing power device is probably gonna be my phone. And also that way I should be able to charge my devices at the same time that I'm solar charging the bike battery as well. And it shouldn't cause any harm. All right, here's a quick example for charging other devices. 
Obviously you need it plugged into your battery. And you can go in and these have independent off switches. So you don't need to use both. And there you go, charging, and we are getting 15 watts out of it. Simple as that. Now, the reason why you can't just go straight from a normal MPPT controller is that most don't bump up the voltage high enough to charge your e-bike, uh, which could be 36, 48, 72, you know, there's lots of different ranges. This allows that bump up, that step up conversion to, to be able to charge at the proper voltage for your e-bike. So let's go ahead and get this set up so I can show you it in action and also how to change the different menu settings to get it set up for your needs. Okay, that's positioned a little better. All right, so this is what it's like running. Let me turn it off real quick by hitting the OK button here. Now it's off. And what you have to do is select set. That's going to show your data entry bank. Hit set again. There you can use your arrows to set your nominal voltage for your solar panel. Set again. That's your maximum charge voltage for your battery. Set again where you put your maximum current that you want to charge at. Hit set again and then you'll want to hit once it's got your your bank number highlighted hit OK so that way it saves it. And then you can turn it on. That should be running good for you. Okay, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. This is not a cheap solar panel, but show me another solar panel that's as nice or as this or can do what this one can. I will have links down below uh, where you can purchase either solar panel 50 watt or the 80 watt. Um, and now here's the catch. For those of you who are interested in making one of these yourself or wanting a step-by-step -step video i will do that if there's enough interest um i will include i will post the the 3d 3d printable files on thingiverse so that way you have everything at your disposal to make one of your own but this is what i need from you i need to see at least 1000 likes and comments sounds like a lot but i think we can do it so go ahead and give it a thumbs up and then just any comment will do. You can even insult me if you want. I just want to know that there's enough interest for me to not be wasting my time to make that video. Um, but it's definitely an awesome device and I think many of you will benefit from it. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you guys next time.